welcome back to Linda's Pantry. So today I'm doing a little bit different Thanksgiving. We're going to have Thanksgiving in our travel trailer up where my husband works and lives during the work week and sometimes two, three weeks at a time. So because I had some time off, I thought I'd come and do my Thanksgiving here and kind of get my little bearings of where he's at. And so because of the small space, um, I'm doing Cornish game hens. And my father-in-law is going to be here as well. He lives up here. So we are going to do Cornish game hens. And so right now I'm preparing my stuffing that I'm going to have because I am going to stuff these. Um, I, I go back and forth on whether to stuff my turkey or not. But what I have is I've got some finely diced celery and some finely diced julienne carrot and a half of an onion diced up. And then I've also, because of the glaze that I'm going to do on the Cornish game hens, I have some dried fruit. Now, the this is dried cherries and dried mango. Um, and they're delicious. They're sweet and um, it's just going to be wonderful with this apricot brandy glaze I'm going to do on these hens. So anyways, um, I'm going to get moving on this, get my stuffing started, and maybe get Sage to quit whining. <laughs> she's she's on the couch whining because, yeah, Michael's outside. All right, so I'm going to get this started and pull my bacon out of the oven. I have some bacon cooking off in the oven right now, so I need a couple pieces of that. Be right back. Okay, guys, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to light this burner. Get that on. And I have to tell you, this um, cookware, this was my mother's, and she had it for her adult life, and it's lived through my adult life, and I really kind of want to retrieve it back to the house. It's called Rena, um, R E N A. And um, it's an amazing stainless steel cookware. Just thought I'd mention that because I just was like, I love this cookware and it reminds me of my mama. So we, I learned how to cook in these pots and pans. Okay, so what I've got going on over here is I've got all my stuff chopped up. I chopped up two slices of bacon, crisp that off in the oven and chopped that up. And now what I'm gonna do and I'm making a smaller batch, maybe, <laughs> of stuffing. So I'm going to put about three tablespoons of butter down in that pan. And that's what I'm going to soften my vegetables with. And I'm going to grab my spatula that I'd like to use. So I truly hope everyone's having a blessed Thanksgiving, or as blessed as mine is. I'm I get to actually spend it with my husband, which is awesome. And so far it's been really fun being here and just relaxing and it's kind of like camping, only we're not. <laughs> and so, grab my spoon that I want to use here. I'm also going to drizzle down some uh, butter flavored grapeseed oil. Uh, just a little bit, just keeps the butter from burning, and um, we don't want burnt butter, right? Make sure I look and see what you guys are watching. Yay. Okay. Definitely, I'm going to get some better knives in here, and uh, some uh, better utensils, I guess. The pots and pans are awesome, but... Okay, so down go my onion, celery, and carrot. And that's, I mean, that's the base of most of my stuffings. Um, and you can add the bacon in now as well. But let me pause you, and as soon as those vegetables get soft enough, I'll bring you back. All right, so now that these vegetables are kind of translucent, and it just smells wonderful in here. I am going to get my uh, dried fruit down there. 
pan and my bacon and get that kind of softening up as well. I do want to add one clove of garlic, which I kind of forgot to get chopped up. So I'm going to give that a good whack. Sorry. And working in the smaller space is kind of a challenge. I brought my on-the-counter oven if I need it. But I'm, I bought a bigger pan for this oven, so I have a 15 by 10 inch surface to bake in now, instead of 8 by 8. <laughs> and uh, so that's, you know, it's just going to be, um, you know, Michael doesn't really cook. He heats up things, so um, it, it hasn't been an issue up till now, <laughs> until you try to do Thanksgiving and breakfast and all those things. So I'm putting a pretty fine little chop down on this while you guys are watching that simmer away here, saute. Just doing a, um, a nice fine chop and get that garlic in. And there you go. And we'll stir that around. All that butter. Mm, just smells good. Okay, and I've got some organic chicken stock, and I'm going to put that, put some of that down right now to get that started, the heating process. And I'm making my stuffing now so it has time to cool down. Put about a cup, a good cup down in there, about a teaspoon of Herbs de Provence, because the breadcrumbs that I'm, or the cornbread crumbs that I'm using... I don't believe. Oh, they are seasoned. Okay. So they're seasoned, and this is Mrs. Cubbins seasoning or seasoned cornbread mix. So it's okay. Herbs de Provence will just enhance the seasoning. So I don't mind that at all. Maybe take this off. We'll bring that up to a simmer and start adding in the breadcrumbs and then the stock until it's to the consistency I like. Some people like their stuffing or dressing on the wetter side, and some people like it on the drier side. And I would say I'm somewhere in between. <laughs> um, and I know that the birds are gonna let off some of their moisture, and so I'll probably do this on the drier side just for that reason alone. All right, so we'll bring this up. This is a gas propane stove, so it does come up to heat pretty quickly. Oh, you know what? I almost forgot to want to put in just a little, like a ounce of, in this stock, of apricot brandy. And my husband's father does not drink, and so He'll be glad to know that this cooks off, um, but it'll add a, another layer of sweetness and that apricot flavor that we're going to have in the sauce on top of these birds. So there we go. Ooh, just going to be delicious. Okay, I see it starting to bubble, so I'm going to go ahead and start adding some of the cornbread mix. And you could do this off of cornbread that you've made, you would just have to make sure that you add plenty of um, seasoning, poultry seasoning in that. And um, So I'm now, because these are so dry, I'm letting them absorb the moisture that I've got so far. Oops, I'm like throwing those breadcrumbs around. Mm, I can smell the sage. It smells wonderful. So just one of the bags that you get inside that box. And this, honestly, this was the, um, a while back after, I believe after Easter, I don't remember now, um, we had a big sale and walked into Walmart and they had their boxes of dressing mix or stuffing mix um, for 50, or no, 75 cents a box. And I bought a bunch. And, and I've used them, and I've been using them, and, and just appreciate not having to pay full price right now. 
because the last in your pantry. So now I've got it to the consistency I like because like I said, it's going to get more moisture. So I'm going to turn this burner off. It's going to get more moisture from the birds. Um, something that you could mold and I will probably, after I stuff the birds, I will add the rest to a pan and bake it off. Um, if I had a little muffin tin here, I'd probably bake them off into little individual muffins cups and um, then we could freeze them and bring them out when he's ready to use them. So that's the start of this uh, stuffing and it really will be stuffing because I'm actually putting it in the in the birds. So I will bring you back when I'm prepping those birds and get them all ready to go. Oh, it's going to be delicious guys. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so I'm glad you stayed along for this because we're going to also roast some um, butternut squash in the oven. And this is wonderful. Um, it just brings out the sweetness. And, uh, and it, I'm doing just enough for three of us uh, for one of the side dishes. So I've got some butter flavored grapeseed oil. Just going to drizzle that right down on top. And that just adds a little layer of sweetness and delicious flavor. Um, I have some of my home homemade garlic powder that I'm going to take and just sprinkle that down. Um, it really has such a great uh, garlicky flavor to it. There's no salt in this. So I did this myself, so. And then I've got Wild Trees Java Rub. And I did this the other day as a test run to see how this would pair up, and it's delicious. The one thing that you will find with the Wild Tree spices, though, is they you, ha you usually have to add a little bit of salt somewhere in there because they just don't, um, they don't put a lot of sodium in their products, which I like. Then I want some cracked black pepper as well. And I am going to toss this with my hands as soon as I'm done and get them all dirty again. <laughs> all I've done today is wash my hands. It's okay. That's what it's all about. And then I've got my pink salt here. And I'm going to do that. And then I like to add a healthy amount of parsley. And look how pretty this is. So then we're just going to toss this around. Make sure everything gets good and coated with the spices, and you'll feel it. It'll feel kind of gritty, and that's that means you've got spice on it. And then I will, I am gonna set this in a nice, even layer, spread it out so it cooks nice and even. Most of the pieces are the same size, so we're close to it. Let me wash my hands. I don't have to walk very far for the sink. It's one step to the right to the sink and one step to the left to the to the stove. But this is going to go out into the on the counter oven. And I'm going to go ahead and leave it out there. It's cold outside and uh, it'll just stay right in that oven until I'm ready to roast that off and turn it on. It's plugged into the outside of our trailer, so it'll be wonderful. And this is going to be pretty. What a pretty presentation. Okay, so uh, okay, guys, bring you now back it's time I'm... to get our sauce going. I'm getting ready to stuff these birds. And, and so I've got um, about two and a half, three tablespoons of butter down in this pan. And so <clears throat> melting the butter, actually I'm going to take the pan away from the heat for just a second to add my apricot brandy. Yum. So about, we're going to do about three-fourths of a cup because it's going to reduce down as the alcohol cooks off of it. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a good healthy teaspoon of my home ground homemade dehydrated garlic powder. Delicious. And the same amount of herbs to Provence. Good, healthy, heaping teaspoon. Because we want those flavors of the holiday 
infused into this. And a little cracked black. Never hurt anybody. And some sea salt. Okay. So we're just going to get that moving along. And I might even move it to the back burner here in a second. Let me get something to stir it. And we're just going to be stirring this and letting it just kind of reduce into a sauce and get thick and delicious. This is what I'm going to baste those Cornish game hens in. They're just going to get bathed in this beautiful, beautiful sauce. Okay, so while that's doing that, I'll move it to the back burner. Let me get that burner on. Hmm. Sorry, these sliders kind of loud. There we go. Turn that one off. Get back there. And bring out my pan that the beautiful hens are going on. <clears throat> so now I'll probably have to back you up a little bit. So you can see. And I'm sorry if the lighting isn't good. We're trying here a new in a new spot. And so we probably would need a bigger better light, but I'm gonna move these hens over here to where I'm going to go ahead and get them stuffed. They've been washed inside and out and drained and patted dry, sitting on paper towels. So, let me move these. Two of these are pretty big. This other little one, though, isn't that big, so he's gonna be, probably be mine. So, what I like to do is take the wings and tuck them up under the little bum, if you can. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. This one wants to work. So they don't get burnt, because the wingtips tend to burn really easily. Okay. Now that I've got that, I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands. Oh. A little soap and water. Never hurt anybody. And we'll get moving on this. I've had my stuffing in the refrigerator, so my hands are going to get dirty again, but truly just fine with me. I'm going to go ahead and back you up since you can't really see what's going on, huh? I want the foil up around the edge there. so. I'm going to go ahead and get the birds stuffed, and when I get them all stuffed, I'll bring you right back, because you don't need to see all that, and it's messy. All right. Okay, guys, I've got one last shot here. I think this is going to be the last of the filming, because the guys just took Sage for a long walk, and when they get back, they're going to watch football, and I can't video, and have football in the background and then the yakking and so um, I'll try to bring you back for an end result if not I will give you pictures I truly hope that this inspires you to enjoy your family be thankful for them every day of the year but especially today on Thanksgiving and I hope that we have a blessed year ahead of us till the next Thanksgiving so now what I'm gonna do is get my hen seasoned on the outside. They've got their seasoning on the inside, but now they need the outside seasoned. So I'm gonna give them a massage, and then I gotta wash my hands again. So I've got my little butter flavored oil. I gave, or I brought it up in, um, these are like condiment containers, and then we don't have glass and stuff like that to deal with, and, and um, just easy to, manage and squirt out into a pan because 
if Michael was cooking for himself and pouring out of the regular bottle, he's gonna end up making a mess or using too much oil. So it's easier to disperse. And now that I've got my hands washed, I'm gonna, again, the herb strip of once goes down. You could put herbs up under the skin if you wanted. Um, we're just going kind of simple. Just want these wonderful flavors going on. So herbs to Provence, a healthy amount of salt. Because really there's no salt going on here. And we've got all that sweetness in the apricot brandy that really is sweet. Um, and then I want cracked black pepper. I'm gonna do, um, I gave them a choice of a winter green salad or green beans with some more of that crumbled bacon in there and some butter. And uh, my father-in-law said he'd rather have green beans, so that's what we're gonna have as the last side. So this is going in the oven at 350 degrees and they'll be in there a minimum of an hour, but um, probably closer to an hour and a half. Uh, just because they're stuffed. Okay, so I'll try to bring you back for the closing shots and I truly hope guys that uh, You come back next time. I hope if you like this you give me a thumbs up go check out the links that I've posted in my description box below and um, As always guys God bless